Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope everyone's having a wonderful day out there, staying safe. I hope God's helping you out, blessing you out. We did talk about how we need to pray in His name in the last video last night, and I think that's very important because we can't get to the Father unless we go to Jesus because God can't see sin. And that's something that is very important that we talked about yesterday. Uh, we're going to be talking about something very important today, too. So stick around and listen because God wanted me to share it with you guys today. And it's actually something that we and my grandparents talked about um, while I was there and I wasn't here to make, be able to make videos. And we actually talked about it in church a little bit. We're going to be in two chapters today. But in today we're going to be in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And we're going to start out in verse 14 and read throughout the rest of the chapter. And I'm going to do the best I can to explain it. Make sure you stick around and listen because this is very important. This is not a joke. And we as Christians need to understand. We need to have hope and trust and faith when we read this. Because Jesus is coming back, but he is coming for his people first. It says in the Bible that nobody knows the day, the time, the minute, or the hour when Jesus is coming. And he's going to come back for his people so fast, it's unbelievable. So stick around and listen, because this is what God wanted me to share with you guys today. And it's very important. And we're going to start reading it, and I'm going to explain the verses throughout it. And if you're here today, and if you don't know if your relationship with Christ is, is good, or you just, you, you're not a Christian and you've just been using earthly things and you've been following the world instead of Jesus Christ, stick around and listen because God will change your life. And you will have eternal life when you go to heaven, heaven with Him one day. So stick around and listen. So it says in verse 14, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with Him. Jesus is talking here and telling us here that whoever believes in him should not perish and have eternal life and if you're here today and you don't know that for sure it's time to get right with god and jesus it says that jesus died and rose again even so them also which sleep in jesus will god bring with him so what does that mean even so them also which sleep in jesus will God bring with him? That means that when Jesus, the people that he's going to bring, the people that believe in him, the people that follow Christ, spread the gospel and read the word, when they're sleeping, nobody, nobody from earth and nobody that believes in Christ won't even realize that the people in the church of God are gone. They won't even realize it. Like, it's amazing how powerful God is. So let's keep reading. Verse 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that which we are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Verse 16. This is the verse that I'm really trying to share with you guys today. And it's so amazing what Jesus says. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? So when Jesus comes for his people, there is going to be a trumpet of God. The people that believe and the people that follow Jesus are the only ones that are going to be able to hear the trumpet of God. So if you hear the trumpet of God, Jesus is coming. And I, it's not a joke. It says it in the Bible. Read it right here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. So what's going to happen is the people that believe, the people that follow Christ, the people that leave earthly things and the people that look up to heaven and look up to God and follow his word and stays in his word and ignore Satan because that's what Satan does. He wants you to fall into earth. He wants you to fall into drugs. He wants you to fall into evil things. But if you believe, you shall go to heaven one day. But we all have to have hope and faith and be aware. We need to be ready. We need to not be sleeping. That means if we miss a day of the Bible or we miss a day of spreading the word, or we miss something that the Holy Spirit is trying to tell us. We're sleeping. We need to be aware and we need, need, we need to stay strong in God. 
So God's telling us here to be aware, to be ready, that you will hear the trumpet of God. So when Jesus comes back, people are going to hear a trumpet of God, which is going to be awesome, right guys? And girls, it's awesome. Let's keep reading. And when it says that of God and the dead of Christ shall rise first, what does that mean? The dead of Christ shall rise first. That means the people that are in the grave, the people that are in the grave that believed in Jesus and are and their bodies dead in the ground, they will rise, they will be resurrected, they will be in a glorious and a resurrected body. God is going to resurrect his people, and the people that are not dead will go up to heaven. It says that you shall go up into the clouds with God. He's going to resurrect the dead first. The ones that are dead in the ground. It says that when you shall die, your soul may go to either hell or heaven. If you shall believe in Jesus, your soul goes to heaven, but your body stays behind. So when Jesus comes back, he's going to resurrect that body. The ones that believe and that body is going to be no sin and go up to heaven. So let's keep reading. So when Jesus comes back, he's going to resurrect the dead first before he takes his people that are alive to heaven okay so verse 17 then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air that is so powerful I mean that is just so powerful thank you Jesus thank you let's keep reading wherefore comfort one another with these words so it says that after the dead are resurrected everyone that believes in jesus christ on his return is going up to heaven we're going to fly we're literally going to fly how powerful is that we are literally going to fly now god's telling us here to be aware and alert to not be sleeping to not lose your faith and trust and hope because just like I said in my last video last night that your hope and that your faith will be fulfilled in heaven because you've seen God in heaven and you've seen his miracle works and there's no hope because he's already taken you up to heaven but it says to have hope and faith never to lose it to keep growing your faith better than a mustard seed and turn it into a tree so it says here that which are alive, which means those that believe and remain, the people that are alive and remain that are on the earth when he comes back, will go with the dead that are resurrected, that our bodies will be resurrected and there will be no sin, there will be no evil, there will be no Satan. And that's so powerful to understand what God's trying to tell us here is that there is a day where Jesus is coming for his church and we shall be in heaven fast and instantly. So we'll be caught up together in the clouds. We'll be flying up and we'll meet the Lord in the air. We will meet him. So if we meet the Lord in the air, there's no point for faith anymore. You know why? Because you see him and you know he's there. So remember, as a Christian, to have faith that the Lord is real. Because the Bible doesn't lie. Everything is true in it. So when he says when he's coming back, he is going to come back. So that means we'll meet the Lord in the air. And this is wherefore comfort one another with these words in verse 18. So tell people about it. Tell people about the return of Christ for his church. And tell people about Jesus. Help them spread the gospel. That's what we want. We don't want for us to sit around and sleep. God wants us to be aware for his return. Me and my dad were talking about it last night while I was helping him with some stuff. And he said that it would be so fast that it would be in the blink of an eye. So that means we'll hear the trumpet of God. He will resurrect the dead and then he will bring his people up to God so fast in a blink of an eye. So if you blink right now with your eye, you'll be in heaven. That's how fast you'll be in heaven. It does say in that Bible, I need to ask where that, um, I need to ask my dad where it says that because that is amazing. Now let's keep reading. Um, now we're going, now we're not going to be in first to less, to, to, I can't speak. We're going to be in Philippians chapter three, verse 21. Okay. Philippians chapter three, verse 21. So let me get to that page. 
might be a while, but what I'm trying to say is that God is coming back for his people and we need to be alert. That's really what I'm trying to say is that he's coming for his church. You'll hear a trumpet of God and he's going to resurrect the dead first, the ones that believe. So verse three, chapter 21. So I'm there, I don't know about you, but I did this with my grandparents and I think it's time to share it with you guys. And the Holy Spirit will dwell upon you in, in life on earth. And if you're a true Christian, you'll understand that you know the Holy Spirit is dwelling in your life. But you need to listen to the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit take over your life. Because it says in the Bible that you cannot do it alone. You cannot make heaven alone. You cannot be the best person alone. You need a Savior. You need the Holy Spirit. And we need to believe in that. And we need to be aware for Jesus' return for His church. So we're going to be in verse 21. And we're going to be talking about the kind of body we're going to have in heaven. And this is very important. The kind of body and what Jesus and what God is going to give us and how powerful it is and how amazing it is. It says, Who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body? And according for, to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. What is, what is that saying? So we're going to have a body like Jesus we're going to have a resurrected body. We're going to have a glorious body. We're going to have a vile body. Now, what, what does that mean? That means that we will have the same identity in heaven. We will look the same, but we will be free from sin, and our things will be a lot different. We will have a glorious body. We will have a body that never dies. We will have the eternal body, a sin-free body. No shame, no sorrow, none of that. We will live a life for God, eternal, forever. So it says here, who shall change your vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glory. So it might it says fashioned until Jesus' glorious body. So I have a body like Jesus does, to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. So we need to understand that God has a plan for us God does not lie. He is perfect. And we need to understand that Jesus is coming for his people. And we will have a resurrected body like Jesus. We will have a glorious body like Jesus. And that's amazing. Thank you, Jesus, for who you are. Thank you for everything you've done. For letting us have the chance to go to heaven with you. Even though we're sinners, we deserve to go to hell. Even though we don't deserve a glorious body like you, Jesus. And I thank you for that. So when I read down in my study Bible, this, this person said that the body is, is going to be a glorious body. Christ will change the body like unto a glorious body. So remember that. What I'm really trying to tell you guys today is that Jesus is coming for his church. You'll hear a trumpet of God and you need to be aware and have trust and faith when he comes and returns. We don't know the minute. We don't know the hour. So that's why we need to be aware because we don't know. So be ready. Spread the gospel. Do the best you can because we have a lot of work to do. We have a generation in a world today that's falling apart and is believing in Satan. And is believing in the lies. And I want people to go to heaven. I want people to fly in the air and meet Lord with their eyes. I want people to have a glorious body like Jesus. I want to spend eternity praising and giving glory to how powerful our God is. That's what we as Christians want. We want to spend eternity with God because how powerful He is and what He can do in somebody's life. So be alert, be ready, have trust and faith and hope on His return. That we need to understand that there's going to be a trumpet of God. He's going to resurrect the dead first and then we're going to go up to the heaven. Now also remember that when we go up to heaven, Jesus is coming back and God is coming back. But he's not only coming back to, he's coming back to take over the world, to judge the world. He's going to judge everybody for the sins, for the rewards and the sins that they have committed. 
but those that believe will spend eternity in a glorious body. Thank you, Jesus. So that's what I want for you guys today, is to understand that we're going to have a glorious body and that Jesus' return is going to be so much fun. And we're going to go up to heaven and we're going to have a party. We're going to spend time with no sin. Imagine that. We can't imagine it like Jesus and God can because it's so powerful. We live in a sinful world. We need a Savior. And if you think today that you can spend your life by yourself and think you're the boss, you're not. God is. Let the Holy Spirit tell you what to do. Don't let the things of the world tell you what to do because it will all pass away. Let's go into prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you do for us. Thank you for what you've done on that cross and making everything new. Help us to be alert and aware and have trust and faith in you and hope on your return. To hear the trumpet of God, for you to resurrect the dead first, and then take us up to heaven to meet our almighty God. Help us to understand that we'll also have a glorious body, a body where we'll serve you, a body of free from sin, a powerful body, a body we can do amazing things to learn new things, a thing to worship God for how powerful he is. And thank you, Jesus, for everything. And help the people that are lost and the people touch their hearts so they may understand how powerful you are and so they may hear the trumpet of God one day. We don't know the time. That's why we need to be aware for your return. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Spread the gospel. Read the word. Do what Jesus asks you in the Holy Spirit. Don't sit around and sleep because it's very important to understand that we need to be aware of Jesus' return and of what he's going to do to our body and give a glorious body. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. May God dwell in your life and do the best you can to serve for Jesus.